Okay, so at some point we are going to get to the point where uh, we have too many posts to be on a single page. So for that, we are going to use the will paginate gem to add pagination to our application. But first I want to take care of the slash articles page. We should be looping through the articles on this page. So let's go ahead and take care of that. So then we can add pagination to this page. So let's go back to our terminal and get out of the Heroku console. Do a git status. Let's do a git checkout dash B and I'm just going to say pagination. All right, so now we're on a pagination branch. Let's open up sublime, uh, close out of these files. What we want to open is the post slash index file. So instead of hello world, we want to, well, first off, let's go to our articles page on our static file. I'm just going to copy over what we have here and paste that in. So if I save that and go back and refresh, everything's formatted nicely. All right. Uh, but we need to change it to the dynamic content. I'm going to leave the page title as stuff I've written, but we, instead of the hard coded stuff, we want to create a loop. So what I'm going to do is at posts dot each do, and then we're going to loop through each of the posts and then I'll end this. All right. So for each post, uh, I'm just going to copy this and put it inside of here. Make sure it's tabbed in correctly. So for each post, we want to grab the date. So what I'll do is the uh, post dot created at dot strf time. And we're going to do the regex again. So percent capital A, uh, comma percent capital B, and then percent D. and then close that. If you want to learn more about the um, STRF formatting, I'm not sure how to say that, so I'm just STRF. Um, just uh, go ahead and Google that formatting uh, rails. And I used a site called for good STRF time. I believe this stands for string formatting time, but I'm not positive on that. Um, but this you can select the various uh, layouts. For example, what we are doing is the Saturday, May 9th. If we wanted to uh, build our own, you can just drag and drop the elements here, which is pretty fantastic. Uh, it's a cool site to use. All right, so let's go back to Sublime. Uh, let's change the title. Uh, this is going to be a link to. So we're going to link to the post.title as the name, and we're going to go to the post. So let's remove the static ones, save and refresh. Let's see, we get an undefined method dot each. Uh, so let's open up the post controller. We get that method because uh, we have not created what at post is in the index method. So what we are going to do here is at posts equals post dot all. If we just did that, that would be enough to get to work. Uh, we also want to do a few things. For example, add the latest posts at the top. So let's do order by um, or order, and then we'll do created at uh, in descending order. So if we refresh, it now puts it in the correct order. All right, so this is good. Let's go ahead and commit what we've done. Do a git s, git commit dash am, uh, loop through post on post colon or hashtag index. All right, let's go ahead and add the will paginate gem. So let's go to Ruby gems and search for will paginate. Uh, you can see it provides a simple API for performing paginated queries with active record. So if you go to the, well, first off, let's copy the gem file and let's open up the gem file here and inside or right below friendly ID, let's paste in will paginate. I'm using version uh, 3.0.7. Save that, go to our terminal, let's do a bundle install. All right, and restart our server. Perfect. Okay, so 
Next thing we want to do, under the links section, click on the home page. We'll take you to the documentation for it. So the usage examples, what we need to do is add the dot paginate call in our controller. So uh, let's go to the post controller. Um, for each of the posts, we're going to, after the order, do dot paginate. And then we are going to throw in some parameters. So we'll do page. Um, we're going to do params of colon page. And then let's uh, add a per page method. So let's do per underscore page. And let's just set it to two for now, just to make sure it's working correctly. So if I go back to localhost, this should, if I refresh, it should show only two posts now. Perfect. Um, and we want to make sure this is dynamic. So let's change this static code to the pagination or the uh, will paginate call. So if you go back to the documentation, you can see what you need to do is the will paginate at posts. So let's go back and replace this with will paginate at posts. Now if I go back and refresh, this is actually working now. So if I click next, I go to next page. There's only, obviously only two pages right now. Um, if I wanted to get more, I can do one per page. Awesome. And all the highlighting, or I mean styling is working correctly. Perfect. So obviously we want more than five. Let's do maybe 10 per page. If there's no pagination needed, the will paginate call is hidden, which is perfect. So let's go ahead and push this up to GitHub and Heroku. So let's uh, see what we've done. Let's do git uh, add dot git s git commit dash am. And what we'll say is added will paginate gem for uh, pagination on posts. All right, now let's do a git checkout and we'll go into the master branch and let's merge in our changes. So git merge pagination. Now let's do a git push and let's also push up to GitHub, or I mean Heroku. All right, so let's go over to um, our Heroku application and let's go to the articles page. So we are looping through all of the posts. Uh, no pagination is set up yet because there needs to be more than 10 for it to show up, but everything appears to be working correctly. So in the next video, we are going to tackle our projects.